the Book of Revelation, a book shrouded in mystery, written by John, a disciple of Jesus. It describes vivid visions. These visions depict the end times. Revelation is symbolic. It speaks of God's ultimate victory. It speaks of good over evil. The book is addressed to seven churches. These churches were located in Asia Minor. This region is now modern day Turkey. Revelation offers a message of hope. It is for those facing persecution. It assures them of God's justice. It assures them of God's coming kingdom. Central to Revelation are the seven trumpets. These trumpets are sounded by seven angels. Each trumpet unleashes a cataclysmic judgment. These judgments are upon the earth. The trumpets are described in Revelation chapters 8 and 9. They represent God's wrath. His wrath is against sin. It is against wickedness. The trumpets are not to be taken literally. They are symbolic representations. They represent the consequences of rejecting God. They also serve as a wake-up call, a call to repentance, a call for mankind to turn back to God. The first trumpet, it brings hail and fire. They are mixed with blood. They are cast upon the earth. A third of the earth is burned up. A third of the trees are burned up. All green grass is burned up. The second trumpet, a great mountain is seen. It is burning with fire. This mountain is cast into the sea. A third of the sea becomes blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea die. A third of the ships are destroyed. The third trumpet. A great star falls from heaven. It is burning like a torch. It falls on a third of the rivers. It falls on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. Many people die. They die from the waters. The waters become bitter. The fourth trumpet. A third of the sun is struck. A third of the moon is struck. A third of the stars are struck. They become dark. Day and night are darkened. Section 4. From locust plagues to angelic warfare. Trumpets 5 and 6. The fifth trumpet. A star falls from heaven to earth. The star is given the key to the bottomless pit. Smoke rises from the pit. The smoke is like a great furnace. The sun and air are darkened by the smoke. Locusts come out of the smoke onto the earth. The locusts are given power. They are given power like scorpions. They are commanded not to harm the grass. They are not to harm any green thing. They are not to harm any tree. They are only to harm people. People who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. The locusts are not allowed to kill. They are only allowed to torment. They torment for five months. Their torment is like the torment of a scorpion. The sixth trumpet. The sixth angel sounds his trumpet. A voice comes from the four horns of the golden altar. The altar is before God. The voice says to the sixth angel, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. The four angels are released. They have been prepared for this hour. They have been prepared for this day. They have been prepared for this month. They have been prepared for this year. They are to kill a third of mankind. Section five, the final trumpet, a new heaven and a new earth. The seventh trumpet, the seventh angel sounds his trumpet. Loud voices are heard in heaven. They say the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. The 24 elders are seated on their thrones. They fall face down. They worship God. The seventh trumpet heralds the ultimate victory. Good triumphs over evil. God's kingdom is established on earth. A new heaven and a new earth are revealed. This is the culmination of history. The time for judgment is over. A time of eternal peace begins. The seven trumpets are not just events in the distant future. They are a reminder, a reminder to live righteously, a reminder to seek God's forgiveness. They are a call to action, a call to share God's love, a call to share his message of hope. The trumpets remind us that even in the darkest of times, God's love and justice will prevail. They offer a glimpse into the glorious future that awaits those who remain faithful to God.